All right, we have more breaking news from Meta. This is actually really uh, a very interesting concept. Basically, Meta is planning to unveil something something called Hypernova at their next Connect conference, which is where they bring in a bunch of developers um, and, and they kind of show off the latest tech. A lot of times it kind of centered on the metaverse, but it feels like we're, we're shifting a little bit more to be AI focused. So this Hypernova is going to be a smart display glasses. So it's going to be, you know, kind of like the glasses they've been working on, but it's going to have, I think, augmented reality on the lens in addition to a wristband. So you'll have like a watch and glasses combo. This is really interesting. Before we get into all of this, Jamie, you want to tell them about our AI Hustle School community? Absolutely. So if you've ever wanted to grow your business or even just learn how to make money on the side using AI, you should check out our school community called AI Hustle. And we have tons of bonus content over there. We, we release a new episode each week. We have at least 60 episodes over there now. But we go through each week a specific tool or method we're using to make money with AI. And we kind of dive into the nitty gritty details of um, what worked well, what didn't work so well, and kind of um, help you just research. Yeah, and just use these different tools. So if that interests you, you should check it out. Our community is over 300 strong and uh, growing daily. And our price is also starting to go up. So raise the price this week. It was $19. Now it's 20. You can lock that price. And now we're going to continue to raise it each week uh, from now on out. So uh, you can lock that price in now and we'll never raise it on you. But let's get back into uh, talking about Hypernova here. This is a really cool concept. So basically, as as Jaden said, you have your, you know, similar to your Meta Ray-Bans, a, a smart glasses or AI glasses, but it's paired with a, a watch now, or a wristband, which I think has uh, several different purposes, but it kind of allows you to do more than just, you know, voice commands that we've had, you know, up to this point with the, uh, the Meta Ray-Bans. So that's one feature. Um, it's also rumored to have a, like a heads up display of some kind. So it's not just clear glasses, but you're actually going to be able to interact um, with a screen on, you know, the glasses. So really innovative design, really innovative concept. And I think it, um, it could potentially be something that eventually replaces your phone. I don't know, Jaden, have you, what have you heard about it so far? Well, I think this is, this is such a fascinating concept because basically up until this point, we've had the meta Ray-Bans where like the AI embedded in it is it's got a camera so it can see what you're doing and it can record. I have a friend that has the Meta Ray-Bans and like he'll, he basically use it for hands-free recording. A lot of influencers or people will use it as well, content creators, where they like basically are, you know, they don't have to pull their phone out. You can just tap it. It's got a good camera on it. It can record. And then also they have a little speaker embedded into the arm of it. So if you can say, hey, Meta and ask it questions and it can like talk to you. So I think that those use cases are pretty useful. You can talk to Meta AI uh, through it. I think it pairs to your phone, basically. And I've actually, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've started to see, uh, Jamie, a bunch of people posting like um, on Instagram, whether it's a reel or a story. And there's like a little like glasses symbol in the corner if they like uploaded or posted something from the Ray-Ban. No, so, I haven't seen that. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So um, this is basically what we've had so far. Now, it seems like they're taking it to a new level. And this is also based off of Google, who has announced and, and kind of showcased a similar product that they're working on. It's not review it's not like out yet but google has shown that they're working on glasses which will have ar built into the lens so you, basically if you're using something like google maps you could like and you're looking down a street you would have like the blue line of google maps showing you where down the street to walk and then you can like follow it in real time you can look at a sign uh, i think it's also interesting to think of like basically the use cases of this so right now google has a thing where if you hold up your phone and point it at like a sign in a foreign country it's going to translate the words that are on that sign and so I think now what you're probably going to get is the same thing with the glasses, except now if you just look at a sign and you're in France, it could just translate that to English or into whatever language you speak. Um, and I think that's going to be so insanely useful. Even more useful than the phone is all of a sudden the glasses we see are altering what, what we see. Now, my one dystopian future with this, before we get into some of the tech, because I think some of the tech is cool, but Jamie, what are your thoughts on like, basically this, this is like the actual literal, not even a fake. This is like a the literal matrix. If we're wearing glasses on our head to alter what we can see, and all of a sudden we have AI embedded in it where maybe we're just like, look, I want to live in like tech land where everything looks high tech and neon. And like, what if your glasses just made everything around you look like super futuristic, but uh, it's like the same stuff. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think um, I think there's could be some really cool use cases for it, and in uh, scenarios where I would want to, um, I'd want to wear them. Um, like I think one of those that comes to mind would be like I I could see some really fun like 
real world interactive games that could yeah. come with out of it. Like, um, like almost like a video game, but you're in real life kind of thing. So like a, a game of some sort or, uh, certain work settings, you know, it could be very helpful for, like we've always, um, talked about on this channel. Like if you're, you know, trying to repair your own furnace that you could become your own HVAC mechanic, you know, with these glasses potentially, I think that's a cool use case or, uh, traveling in a foreign country. I mean, uh, you know, I remember going to Italy and, and, you know, the shock of not knowing what anything says or, and you can't hear any, you don't, can't understand anything anyone's saying, you know, it's like, um, if, if, if you're traveling abroad and you want either want to get around or you're on there for business and just need to, to find where you're going, if I could see that being useful. And on the other side of the coin, I wouldn't, I don't like the idea of having being locked into the matrix, like all the time, you know what I'm saying? So totally, totally. Um, so hopefully your employer won't force you to wear them the whole day at work. Uh, you right. can take them on and off when you need them. So something that's interesting, like you mentioned, there are basically um, a small digital display. It's going to be on the right lens of the device. Um, and that's so I, I think kind of where it starts is like you have that small AR on like one lens where it can show you things and probably it goes to both lenses eventually. And then maybe it just, you know, takes over the whole matrix. But I, it's starting out small. So I think this is kind of interesting. They're going to be about $800 for these glasses this glass wristband combo and i think uh this makes a lot of sense you you got meta ray-bans for really cheap they were you know 200 for the cheapest i think and then like 300 for like your most common well i think 299 was the cheapest one so yeah basically three to four hundred dollars for these glasses um and then if you uh kind of want to start adding all this extra fancy technology where it's like computing stuff on your wristband and it's like it's got now a display instead of just regular glasses uh, i think now they have to start basically increasing the price so i think 800 dollars sounds about right to what this thing is going to uh would have to come out to basically uh not lose them the same amount of money they are doing this with um seor luxotica and luxotica is who owns ray-ban and i believe oakley who they have their other partnership with on glasses so it seems like they're they're sticking with their same kind of big player um partnership and uh i mean ray-ban obviously is like a big name it's a big brand they're like why don't we just you know stick with it and so yeah it seems like they're they're staying they're staying there it's also the style of glasses ray-bans are like a nice big display so i kind of want to see them like do a partnership with like pit viper or something with those giant like reflective lenses and and that would be a really good matrix one i feel like yeah I would love my meta pit vipers. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it does say in, in this article, they, ex they are setting low expectations for sales. Um, that's because the device does have more components in it. So it, it seems like it will be heavier, thicker, and maybe just more clunky looking. So I don't know if it'll be quite as stylish, you know, as your, your Ray-Bans are. So, you know, and I feel like I've seen a picture of Mark with these like super thick kind of strange looking glasses. Maybe that's, maybe that's the product. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, so it sounds like they're not expecting a lot, but it is, you know, version one of a product and, and it, hopefully eventually they can kind of have all the components, but have it be, you know, as stylish as a Ray-Ban or Oakley. So we'll see. It should be very, very interesting. And the last thing I'll say is like last year, so like basically I think with Meta's like whole metaverse, like movement, uh, Zuckerberg realized that like VR glasses and goggles basically are probably the wrong way to do it because they're so clunky. Most people aren't going to be wearing those walking out and about, but like uh, Ray-Ban glasses, like that's like a no brainer. People are already wearing glasses. If you can fit the technology, which is obviously hard because it's such a small device, but if you can fit the technology in there and make it not look weird, then a, a lot of people will buy them. Like I actually know a whole bunch of people that have the meta Ray-Bans. I don't know, Jamie, if you know anyone that has purchased them before. Yeah, a few. And I do like, if if you're not looking for them, you don't really know that they're they're uh -huh. you know Meta Ray Ban. They don't just look like normal glasses or sunglasses. So I think they're cool. I've considered getting a pair myself. I've heard what you got to do. By the way, side note: if you want a pair, go on Facebook Marketplace because you can get them for about half price. Because people mm -hmm. people buy them thinking they're going to use them and then don't. So that's, that's a perk. Yep, that's what I've heard is the way to go. The, the guy I talked to, he has two different pairs, and then so he has one in his charging case at all times, and then the other one. He puts on his head so wow okay well one thing that i do think is interesting is like those things were way more popular apparently than mark zuckerberg anticipated but they've sold about two million pairs of them uh of their second generation glasses since 2023 so i mean we're like a year and a half in and they sold two million pairs which honestly like for a brand new device two million and yeah. a year and a half is not bad 
Um, and I yeah. think that stat actually came out in February. So maybe a little over a year if they sold a couple million devices. Wow. So I think it, it it's going to be, you know, um, it's going to be growing. Um, one thing that's interesting is part of the deal basically between Meta and Luxottica to do this. Um, Meta got a stake of about 3% in Luxottica. So they're oh. like, okay, fine. Like we will, uh, you know, make keep doing this partnership, but we actually want to own a percentage of Luxottica, which is interesting. Wow. Maybe Meta's worried like Luxottica would go make a deal with Google or someone else that has this kind of technology and move away from them. They're like, look, we put you guys on the map with these Ray-Bans. <laughs> you want 3% of your company for life. So that's kind of interesting. I know that uh, Hypernova is going to have like a display on it, but it's, apparently it's going to be pretty limited. So yeah, like you mentioned, they're setting low expectations. They're like, this isn't the like the biggest thing. Color display is going to have about a 20 degree field of view, which means it will appear in a really small window in a very fixed position. It's going to be mostly used to just relate like simple bits of information, like upcoming text messages, not like, you know, like the the AR VR experience of the matrix right. that I predicted earlier. We're going to have to <laughs> wait a few years for that to actually come. But yeah, overall, this should be very, very interesting uh, to see how this actually plays out in the long run and to see how popular this tool is. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the episode today, uh, make sure to leave a rating and review. We read them all um, and we really appreciate them. And uh, yeah, make sure to join the AI Hustle School community. We'd love to have you as a member, uh, help you grow and scale your business with AI tools. And we'll catch you in the next episode.